A wall keeping drivers from seeing what's speeding up behind them is turning a nearby intersection into chaos. And now, people who live there want the city to do something about it. News 13's Emily Younger is live on Wyoming near I-40 with a look. Emily? Well, Matt, every time a person tries to turn left here on an, or in an attempt to turn onto Wyoming, the problems start. It's a nightmare. Marcia Duvalis is talking about this intersection just west of I-40. I have to look backwards. I have to check that lane. And I have to make sure no one's coming up here. Along southbound Wyoming is this, a service road lined by a four-foot high wall put in by the city years ago to protect these houses from heavy traffic. The service road leads to Aspen Ave, a thoroughfare for the neighborhood. But getting onto that street isn't easy. Three lanes of traffic I have to make sure simultaneously Clear. Once drivers do that, this happens. Cars swing around, ending up parallel to cars as they whiz by. Then there's this. People who can't make the sharp turn, like this postal service car, end up doing it in the middle of the street. At the same time, this is happening on Wyoming. Cars are flipping U-turns. Edgar Briggs lives nearby. We had killed, wrecks, uh, T-bones, Everything there. In February, a 19 year old woman died here in a car crash. Neighbors say the city even put up this wall surrounding a home because drivers keep ramming into it. But they want more done. I'd like to see a, a traffic study done and look back at the history of the wrecks and the damage of property and the deaths. The city says it's now looking into those safety concerns and possibly adding a no left turn from the service road. It scares the crap out of me. This, is, I believe, is one of the most dangerous residential intersections in Albuquerque. Now that left, no, no left turn sign would go up somewhere around here. If that happens, drivers would be forced to turn right into this nearby neighborhood, something people who live around here probably wouldn't be too thrilled about. Matt, back to you. All right, Emily, thanks. The city initially put up that frontage road barrier to protect homes and parked cars when lanes were added to Wyoming.